Hey guys, Dominique with Canine Corporation. So we're gonna talk next um, about having your first litter. So when you're gonna get started, I do not suggest that you go out and build a 30 by 30 nursery and buy all of this stuff. Um, you actually are gonna wanna try to raise the first litters either in your home, in a garage, someplace that you can monitor them and watch them for your first litter. Uh, the reason is, is, is I don't suggest that you divulge a bunch of money into the process until you're sure that's the direction that you're going to go. You can breed one litter and be like, that's not for me, um, and, and I don't want to do it. Uh, most of the time, people breed the first litter and go, oh my God, I would never do this in my house again. Uh, and then that's, that's fine because you're going to take some of the money from that first litter and you're, you're going to you know, expand and find another place. So um, Obviously, it's not that hard to find a place for the dogs to be. A fenced-in backyard works well buying uh, a you know a, a pinning system make sure a large pinning system we'll have a, another whole conversation about that but you know that's the easy part but you need to make sure we're gonna have a spot for puppies so here's what that has to be minimum it has to be able to be temperature controlled 100% uh, cold puppy scream and I mean scream so even if it's in your house um, they're not going to be able to be air conditioned like you are. Dogs' body temperatures is a lot higher than ours. So, you know, if you try to keep, uh, you know, in your living room and you're actually trying to keep those puppies as the same temperature as you, it's going to be a lot more difficult. So even a specific room, laundry room, um, anything, a back porch that you have insulated, something that you actually can heat and cool um, is going to be the top priority. Uh, definitely electricity. Water is not as important because you can bring water in and out. And we'll, there's different ways to, um, you know, to put them in there and actually clean up after them everything without being able to, you know, wash down. So concrete's not as, as crucial, but, it, you know, obviously not on carpet. <laughs> so, you know, there's a few basic logical things that are out there, but I really do want to make sure I point out the point of heat. It's going to have to be something that we can heat uh, for our first letters. So that's kind of roll that around and make sure because the reason I bring this up is because that may actually determine what kind of breed you start out with. There is the possibility, I say you don't want to change breeds, but uh, if you're going to start out and you just really, like you're just adamant you want to do Great Danes and you live in a small apartment, you can't do Great Danes. Start with something smaller, um, you know, get your feet up under you and learn what you're going to do and then later you can convert to uh, a larger breed that you want to do. But anyway, so that's my advice. Thanks. Bye.